Monkey Man is like the Indian version of John Wick. Now, I'm not a big fan of John Wick, to be honest, because the violence is gratuitous, and honestly, it just gets to be a little bit boring after a while, but, but that is for another review. And with Monkey Man, it's kind of the same thing. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of this movie is very good in terms of cinematography and editing, but that could be said of any major Hollywood movie, and Dev Patel, in my opinion, is a very underutilized actor in Hollywood, and for his first major film where he starred in it, directed it, and was writing the story, he did a great job. And I don't think I can say this enough, but the cinematography was gorgeous. But that's about where my admiration for the movie ends because I have to talk about the narrative of this movie. It was like they switched the structuring of the hero's journey around and tried to craft something new, but honestly, it didn't work in my opinion. Now look, I'm all for watching movies that have weird narratives that don't fit the norm. Fight Club, Punch Drunk Love, and Train Spotting are a few of my favorite movies that don't really follow a typical narrative. But there's a difference between creating a unique narrative and creating something that kind of follows a narrative and then trying to do something that you've never seen before. And I don't mean that in a good way. And plus with the mentioning of political bullshit and weaving that with a Robin Hood type of story, it just felt so convoluted. And not to mention the fact that it has that annoying motif found in what seems to be every movie today. It's the one where we can see the chasm of disparity between the rich and the poor, the high upper class, and the lower class. With all that being said, my problem with Monkey Man is not so much the production of the movie so much as the narrative of it. Because the movie does follow a common narrative in revenge flicks, but then they kind of lost it at some point, and they went in this weird direction with the story where he went off the rails near the beginning and then got back on track about three quarters of the way into the movie. It felt like I was watching a play where the actors are supposed to show up earlier, but then come in way later than they should have. And we kind of care about them because we get the subtext that we're supposed to, but I didn't really find myself caring for any of these characters, and the only character I found any reason to like was Dev Patel's character in the moments where you see his kindness, intelligence, and creativity. And the only other thing that I will say definitely bothered me a lot is the fact, fact that, that they kept cutting back to the sequence showing his mother being murdered by the evil policeman. And at some point, I just said, I fucking get it, dude. Your mom was murdered. Stop trying to remind us that we should feel bad for you. We know that this is what establishes you as the hero and him as the villain. Move on to another part of the movie for fuck's sake. And look, it's not that this movie is bad, it just feels more like a fever dream than it does like a well-constructed story. The things they needed to focus on, they didn't focus on enough, and the things that they did focus on, they focused way too much on it. But more than that, I never felt like I truly knew the main character. We understand what he went through was painful and all. We see his hands that were burned from trying to put out the flames on his mother. But as for getting to know him a bit better, the whole time it just felt like I was having a fever dream while watching somebody who I didn't know as they were having a fever nightmare. Now you will not hear me recommending this movie, but I wouldn't discourage you from going to see it. So if you're interested, I would say go for it. And if you're not, then I would say skip it. Monkey Man gets three stars out of five.